let's see. All right, I think we are live now. Oh, yes, we are. All right, what up, Fantastics? Welcome to another Fantastic live show. It's actually been a while since we did this one last time. And so it's always interesting to see that if all the equipment and everything's running out, I'm actually using my new microphone and everything here. So I hope everything's going fine and I hope you're having a great time here. We have already some people joining in. Joe, the program programmer is saying terve, 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 morjesta, morjesta kaikille. Ja huomenta, sanoo, someone saying huomenta, which is good morning in Finnish. So, which is always a great thing. Let me just pop out this chat chat here so I can actually read it a little bit easier and I can just turn off this dashboard here all right good stuff so we have Pepina we have uh, Loredana we have someone whose name is just Moi which is quite a cool so welcome to the live stream and yeah so it's also ha mother's day here so happy mother's day everyone to all if there's any mothers watching this live show here so at least here in finland and i think in some other european countries we do celebrate mother's day and uh yeah it's it's been a kind of special day here which is cool obviously so we have Julia is also here, Saekka is here, Ayas Hussein is also here, Mr. Wright, what's up, what's up, welcome, welcome. And Dead Inside Club is also here, Joris is here, Terve Belgiasta. Okay, let me know in the chat, or if you're watching the replay, let me know in the comments, where are you watching this live stream, so because we always have to check out in which part of the world fantastics are gathering, gathering up to this live stream. And we have Finland Refer, Yo Mofo, Merhabalar, Benzin Almak Ishtiorum. <laughs> yeah. Patrick sanoo myös hyvää ilta, kuis hurise. Hyvin hurise. We have people from Oulu. Watching from Israel. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. I, well, my Hebrew is kind of bad. That's pretty much it. I also know Sababa. Sababa is also watching. Hong Kong Mikon Taloa. <laughs> Mikon Talo, I think Mikon Talo deserves like a country status. It's such a legendary place. San Diego, Violet, Vinyl is saying, Moi Alexi, Finland, England, Estonia. And haha, all right, good stuff. And uh, as you can see, I already upgraded this stream a little bit. We have actually some ambient background music going on. I'm not sure if it's going to be anything great, but at least you don't have to be listening to my voice only. And I think the volume should be quite okay. If it's too high, too low, you can let me know because I can adjust it right here, right from the start. You, bro, you skipped my comment. Well, the problem is that I get these comments quite a bit, so I'm I'm sorry if I cannot read all the comments. I try to get them as much as I can. All right. So as I said, Mother's Day has been here. It's it's kind of like as you know, people and businesses usually take a big or they take it into account in their marketing and stuff. They try to, you know, sell more flowers and cakes and gift ideas and these this kind of things. So it's been kind of like the theme of the week. And yeah, I also called my my mom and I also sent, sent her a small gift here from Helsinki because my mom doesn't live in Helsinki. So I've also celebrated a little bit of ITM Beva here. Okay, and uh, long time no see, Kohe and Germany, Yhdysvallat, and you sp skipped, uh, skipped my comment. Okay, and uh, like I said, I'm going to take some of your questions for this live stream. And I, let me all, because uh, uh, I actually asked in the Fantastic Facebook group. So if you're not in the Fantastic Facebook group, there's a link in the description where you can join for free. And we have, I think, almost 400 Fantastics there. And we always chat and discuss about different kind of Fantastic related topics. You can join in the description. And I also got some questions there. So let's check it out. And let's start with a very interesting question. And this was... Uh, Asked by Gal Grunfeld. I hope I didn't butcher your name there with my Finnish pronunciation. 
And the first question is, what do you think are the best ways to get to know Finns to form relationship? Not necessarily intentionally, but as a first step. A detailed answer with example situation would be quite useful. And there's actually some uh, more details into this one. Uh, but yeah, that was basically the question. Uh, so for example, this says, especially I'd like to know in non-structured environments where you don't have to, something to share with other people, e.g. not not the people you work with, for example, where you could introduce yourself, have opportunities to get to know them over time, and lead on conversation that would happen anyway, but creating them on joining once you're not the part to begin with. Okay, so getting to know the Finns, this is probably one of the most hot, one of the hot topics we talk about on this channel quite a bit. And uh, well, there's a there's a one quick tips that I can easily think of right away. The first. Uh, the first and kind of easiest way to get to this stuff or got to, to kind of solve this problem or approach this problem is to find out where the international-minded Finns or open-minded Finns usually gather up. And, uh, well, one easy way is university. So if you happen to be a university student or you're taking classes at the Finnish uni, that's a very good place to start because there's a lot of international activities. But maybe you are not all, you're not anymore in the university or you're just moving for work or something else. Uh, my second advice is to check up a platform which is called meetup.com. And meetup.com is basically this platform where you can create a group around the topic and people can join the groups and then you can cre start create events. Actually, I can show it to you quickly here. Let me... Let me just go to TV screen. Oh, okay, there's my Facebook. That's okay. So this is meetup.com. And uh, here's here you can see some of the st stuff in uh, Helsinki. For example, you can see this clean code Helsinki, Helsinki Salesforce, uh, WordPress Helsinki. I think these are most like business related stuff because I think it's picking up groups based on my interests. Uh, let's see, T in Helsinki, 405, 455 members, big data developers in Helsinki, Helsinki Esports. And these are all English because the platform is in English and all the groups are usually also in English. So these are where the international minded people around these topics gather up. And so they usually throw events and stuff and meetups. So this is actually, you can kill two birds with one stone because first of all, you can find people with similar interests as you, and you can also find international minded Finns here. So pretty good stuff, right? So definitely a meetup.com is a good place to find those kind of in open minded people. Another, uh, let me just switch back to the, this one, yeah. So another tip what I would give is uh, for example, Couchsurfers, or what's the other Couchsurfing, and I think it's Couchsurfing. Because, yeah, Couchsurfing, well, it's basically you can crash someone's place, but they also have these kind of meetup groups where you can meet up people in your area. And in Helsinki, they also have those kind of areas or these kind of groups. So my advice is to utilize these kind of platforms where international-minded Finns already are hanging out. So that's that's my case. And there was also some follow-ups about the about the fact that do Finns Finnish people small talk and stuff? And is it is it really an easy way to well I'd say it's quite difficult just to, to find open-minded Finns or friends in the street. It might happen though. But uh, it's mostly about the fact that you need to find an environment, a social environment, where Finns are also socializing. And if it's an international-minded environment, it's even better. For example, you, you could also try bars and these kind of places. But, uh, well, it's may maybe not the first place where I would go if I was a foreigner here. But maybe you can get the idea. So, so just to give you like a quick tip for this kind of... Uh, this kind of problem or problem or the approach would be to find these places where open-minded. Well, okay, usually I would say open-minded equals international-minded, but that's usually how it works. So that's my how I would say. Okay, let's see uh, any comments. Yeah, I met through many people through code here through Couchsurf. Okay, so Joe, the programmer, giving us fantastic tips here and. Also, it seems that it's already working. So, couch surfing is definitely a good place to go. 
and also my solution was tinder <laughs> yeah well if, if you're into dating tinder is very good i mean i think okay well it depends if you're a guy or girl but i think in general Finns are especially like younger generation are quite open-minded to meet foreigners also in a rom romantical sense because especially the girls they usually complain about the fact that Finnish guys don't approach or they are too drunk or they are too shy or they don't do communicate so I think there's like a good market <laughs> for this kind of this kind of stuff but yeah tinder is definitely one one thing and Finland yeah Rahberim is also promoting yeah couch surfing in Helsinki it works with the meetup and couch surfing for international still most internationals get there but you can some points okay that's great because I haven't actually been to these uh, couchsurfing meetings myself, but some people have. And also, if, if there's any people w w who are watching this and you have some pro tips, let me know. Because this is because you probably have some better insights as, as internationals living. Because I'm just this dumb, you know, this douchebag Finnish guy who's trying to give you tips. <laughs> uh, you could try Hello Talk. Uh, Hello Talk is... Uh, I think hello talk is definitely good if you're into the, if you want to find language partners but um well maybe it might work it's not something that I I would try first but why not it's maybe like a you know thinking outside of the box so why not all right uh I hope this was you got something useful out of this one let me just read a few more questions if there was anything anything oh uh, also facebook groups that's perfect yeah ayats hussein just mentioned about facebook also many cities for example i know there's in for example in tampere and there must be one in helsinki they have this international international minded people in helsinki or something like this uh, in tampere there is this tampere internationals or not group and there's both Finns and foreigners there and i've seen people posting this hey hey i just moved in and i would like to meet some Finns and maybe go for a coffee this kind of stuff. and i've seen people actually getting replies for that so that's also one thing you could try definitely okay nice yeah i get approached at the tools thanks for all the useful things we'll definitely use those things when i move to finland okay thanks gal for the <laughs> uh giving your your uh, opinion on my answer uh yeah it's this is definitely what i would do uh, in the beginning okay let's move to the next question i i'll take your replies or your comments in the chat in after i read the questions from the facebook group because that's i i told to read those first let's see uh okay Carla from Mexico is asking, I would like to know how is the Finnish food culture in general? I'm from Mexico, so ours is, is obviously very strong. Lol. All right. What are some of the dishes we shouldn't miss? Do people generally eat outside or do they cook in their homes? Thanks. See you in a few minutes. Okay. So there was quite a few questions. Um, well, let's start from the easy ones. Do people generally eat outside or do they cook in their homes? Well, to, to begin with, Eating outside, eating in restaurants and stuff is quite expensive in Finland. So I think most of the people consider it more as a like, luxurious activity. It's not something that people do every day because it's it's just so expensive uh, compared to at least if you cooked home and stuff. So, But people still love to go to eat outside and you can always see people in the restaurants and stuff. But for example, it's not something what I do. For example, go for a dinner in a kind of expensive restaurant. I sometimes might get some cheap, like Thai food or like 10 euro stuff, but not really. But uh, so what are the, some of the dishes we shouldn't miss? Okay, well, in my opinion, Finnish cuisine is in, not is not something that Finland is known about or known of. So we don't really have the special dishes that much. I can, for example, just think of like Karjalan paiste. Can I actually write it here? Yeah, I, let me write this. Karjalan paiste, this Karelian steak. Uh, 
But instead of these dishes, I think we have more these kind of like small foods, which are more known, like musta makkara or, or, um, or desserts like mammi or vispipuro or rahka and these kind of different kind of monkeys and cinnamon rolls and these kind of things. I think this is more like about the food related stuff that Finland is kind of known about. But about the about the dishes, I can't really come up with anything like famous. Maybe there, if there's Finnish people in the chat, you can help me out with this one. But um, yeah, that's what I would say. And I have already made a one video about Finnish desserts and also this Finnish small foods you should try. There's a link, there's a video about that in my channel. You can definitely go watch it. And for example, there's uh, leipäjuusto and berries and sausages and you know this kind of all kind of kind of weird stuff we like to do. And there's also one video about the desserts. So I made a video about those two. You can check them out. Lingonberry pie. Oh yeah, that's a blueberry pie also. Uh, is something kind of these desserts. Uh, yeah, so that's something else. Let's see. Uh, Finnish food culture. Yeah, that's that's what I would say. Like the Finnish food in general isn't really that special, like the dish wise. But then we have like this small kind of interesting small stuff that we like to eat. Let's see if we have any any um, questions to this one. In Oulu, there's an interesting soup called Rössypot. Ah, yeah, actually, I have never tried that probably. And I can I can I don't even know what kind of food that is actually. Uh, is there any food related comments? If there if if you have any other questions, I'll take them uh, later on on this stream. Uh, mustika piirakka is my favorite. Yeah, mustika piirakka, blueberry pie. That's very good actually. It's it's quite easy to do also. I, I haven't done that myself, but my mom makes it quite often and she, ah, it's like so easy to do it. But she's a very good cook actually. Uh, okay, so that's about this question. And then I had a few questions on Instagram. Let me also check those. Okay, uh, Stefan Santokje, hope I pronounced that probably at least somewhat correctly. Do you think Finland will ever qualify for a FIFA World Cup or Euro? <laughs> uh, I wish, I, I hope so, but for some reason the f level of Finnish football isn't really that great compared to the other, uh, com internationally com compared. Uh, but it's quite, a quite funny because Sweden and Denmark and I, I think even Norway, they are pretty much every time in the in the Euro and in the World Cups, but Finland hasn't made even once to the even to the Euro. And uh, why? Well, I can't really say because I don't really follow football much that m myself. But it it's just that we don't have that many good players. We do have some good players. For example, nowadays maybe you've heard of Teemu Pukki. He's been making crazy amount of goals. I, I've seen him seen his name many times in the news and stuff. But I don't know. Finland is, is not really a football country, even if football is very popular sports here. But still, we just kind of suck ass at it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did we have anything else? Uh, there was one question about buying apartments, but this is something I should look, look more into myself because this is not something that I can come up right up from my ha from the hat or I don't know how to say that in English, but I'll probably make a separate video about this. Okay, now let's see what kind of questions you guys had. Uh, let's see, let me just scroll a little bit. Hi Alexis, Estonian similar to Finnish. Yes, actually they are very similar. I should make a video about this topic because I'm quite curious about this myself. Uh, yeah, so for example, I think someone someone has said that someone someone has said that Estonian for Finns Estonian sounds like very funny Finnish, but I think Estonians think they're exactly the same about us, like us about Finnish. But yeah, they are actually very similar. 
we can actually understand each other a little bit. Uh, what are the largest cultural linguistic difference between Finns and Estonians? What do Finns think into each other in general? I'm going to Estonia. Uh, this is something I should uh, probably find out myself. Maybe I should go to Estonia and do a street interview video about this. That actually sounds like a plan, by the way. Uh, Swum is the best. Great. Musta makkara. I tortilla at home at the moment. That's great. Uh... Hey Alex, I, I'll, in August I'll probably move to Ita from Italy to Joensuu to study. Any suggestions on how to adapt to the life in Finland? That's a good question. That sounds like a video topic again. Uh, well, what I can say is just make your research beforehand. For example, about the weather. Um, about... Maybe some basics of the culture. If you've been watching my channel, you should probably know quite a bit of the culture. Uh, in August, the weather is quite okay. But I think you will learn most of the stuff here. Because Finland is a very functioning society. And everything kind of rolls really smoothly. And also, if you come to study here, what I really like about is the tutoring system. So if you come to study in a Finnish school, there is like tutors who will guide through you with through everything who will guide you through everything so they will teach you how to do stuff they take you to the uh registrator's office to you know do all this kind of bureaucratic stuff so uh, usually this is very good but what else i can say i mean if you come from italy the the currency is the same uh well the weather is probably quite more more cooler what else maybe it's something about the basic of the of the people also the language you should maybe if you know just a little bit of the language it also helps and so on some very quick tips there hey another another question i've been to lahti and stayed there for about a month and there was a lot of nature are there such natural natural quiet and spacious areas neighborhood in helsinki in helsinki <laughs> I think in Helsinki you have to go a little bit further away to get to the nature. That's probably one of the maybe one of the minuses I have in Helsinki. Yeah, because it's it's like a big city and you know there's not much nature in the in the center. But if you go a little bit further away, there are these like uh, national parks within like 30, 40 minute trains. And stuff so you can definitely find those but you have to maybe travel a little bit further away by the way there's also a chance for you for example if you if I miss your comment or your questions you can also use the super chat function uh, under the chat there's this dollar sign and you can send a super chat with your own sum and you will get like this flashy big message and you will also support this channel so if you want to do that that's up to you and yeah, there's this option to do that. So just letting you know. And as you can, for example, see who has the top super chat and the most recent super chats like before below my face here in the screen. All right. Oh, I haven't watched that one. Check it later. Da, da, da. Slindy is also here. Terve Slindy. Riisi Pirka learned, learned to make it after eating it most of the month of day in Finland. Nice. How to find a job in Kokkola. Wow. Kokkola is, Kokkola is actually the place where I'm from, but Kokkola is a very small place. I wouldn't say dying place, but it definitely has more people moving out than in. I'm not, I'm not actually sure if it, that's if the way, but that's how I feel. Very tough to find job in Kokkola, I'd say, especially for foreigners. That's because football is boring. The focus seems to be in the ice hockey. Yes, ice hockey is the sport where Finland kicks ass at. All right. Off the top of my head. Yeah, thanks, Saka, for correcting me. Yeah, Estonians are like broken Finnish, but that's probably how they think of, of us. Although I'm amazed how many Estonians how know to speak Finnish. Yeah, actually, there are many of, especially in the construction sector, there are many, there are lots of Estonian people working here in Finland. And to be honest, if I if we ask the question why, it's probably because the 
salaries are much better here and the Estonian guys are usually quite good at doing this construction stuff and that's that might be the reason Hey, hei kaikille, joo, Estonia kuulostaa, ja päivi on täällä, terve päivi, kiva, että pääsit messiin. Hey, don't skip my question about Finnish urban legends. Oh, fin oh yeah, there was a question probably, but Finnish urban legends. I would probably have to Google about that, because I'm not, I'm not sure if we have any urban legends, or that's not something I can come get something out of my head right, right in the bat. Urbaani legenda, onko meillä mitään semmoisia? I think that's not really something we have. Maybe I need probably need to check that one out. Rasmus Asno, hello, terve. Kerran on kokkolasikannut kokkolasikannut, aha! Katoppas vaan sekin vielä. Yeah, that, yeah, that's definitely one of the bad parts about Helsinki. Lack of nature, yeah. That's definitely what I would say. Hey, New Jersey. No, hey, hey, Kristen. Mikä tässä menee? Tervetuloa live show. What, is, what city is, the mo is more convenient to live in? Top three. Are we talking about cities in Finland, I assume? Okay, if we think about international perspective, I think Helsinki is definitely probably the first one because there's a lot of international internationality here. And the cities also, the people are more international minded, there's more foreigners and stuff. Uh, the second one would be probably Tampere. Tampere is very good also. And it's it's growing, it's getting more international, I think. And what, what, what would be the third one then? But definitely one of the bigger cities. I'm not sure if Turku would be one of those. But maybe... Or maybe Espoo or Vanta. But they they are kind of very close to Helsinki anyway. So I think it kind of gets counted into those. But yeah. So um, Helsinki and Tampere. Ah, Jammuseta. Ah, this kind of urban legends. But Jammuseta is kind of old stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Jammuset. Okay. I, okay, maybe I'll check this one out for the next stream. All right. Um, most popular Finnish singer and slash band, I think Darude and probably everyone rec can recognize that one. Uh, let's see what questions for software development. Always pretty good, yeah. But I think in Helsinki there's also a lot of good software de development stuff. But I think Oulu is also kind of like this IT city. Definitely. What do you think of Jyväskylä? I've actually lived in Jyväskylä for a year. I think Jyväskylä is actually quite cool. It's kind of it's a kind of smaller size of smaller brother or sister of Tampere. Uh, university city. I think it's kind of developing city. Uh, I th la 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 the landscape is quite nice. Price level is okay. Uh, I mean, it, it could be definitely one place. It's one of the potential places. Not as international though. At least back then, that was in 2011. That's like eight years ago. Holy shit, time flies fast. Uh... Is there a significant difference for a foreigner between Helsinki and surrounding cities? I mean, Helsinki is definitely the easiest, probably, because Helsinki is, is the most international. Like, I, I mean, surrounding cities, so maybe... Okay, I, I assume that surrounding cities mean like Espoo and Vanta and these smaller places. Well, in Espoo, there's also a lot of these uh, business kind of clusters. But uh, yeah, I think I think he our Helsinki area is definitely the best. Let's see, how is your life going in Helsinki, by the way? Actually, it's going quite nicely. Um, I've had some good success in my full-time job. I'm a sales manager in an IT company, and I've made some good sales recently. 
YouTube is going nicely. I think I'm going to start do start doing these live streams more often and and uh, another monthly <laughs> no monthly weekly video. Well, one problem what I have cur at the moment is that I should pick up a new hobby because I used to go this body pump uh, close to my place. But the problem with the with the body pump is that the class times are fixed. So it means that I have to kind of shift my schedule according to those those classes. And actually I'm running on this diet called intermediate fasting, which means that I'm eating. I have an eight hour window when I'm allowed to eat and 16 hour window when I'm not eating. And because if, if I go to work out in body pump, I have to make sure that I also eat after the classes because if I want to kind of build the muscle and stuff and that's difficult. So it kind of messes up with the, with my this intermittent fasting schedule. So I need to kind of figure out what should I do. Uh, otherwise it's going wisely. I, I, I don't, definitely, I should, at least I shouldn't be complaining about anything because I don't, I don't have any problems. I'm healthy. I have a good job. I'm having a good, good time with doing the YouTube stuff and so on. So that's what I would say. Thanks for the question. Uh, any more questions? Oh, there's a lot of stuff, but let me. Hey, Alexi, do you know if there's some rent rent to buy f for apartment? I mean, you pay rent, but several years you can buy to save money. Uh, let me see if I can understand this question. Okay, so what I what I'm thinking about what if when I'm looking at this question, there is this form of buying or living, whatever it could be, which is called asumisoikeus. I think it's like right for like right for living basically, and it means that you you rent an apartment, but while you pay the rent, you are actually buying the apartment slowly to yourself. So this kind of form of buying we do have actually. I know because one of my cousins lives in that kind of place. So he rented an apartment and while he pays the rent, he actually keeps buying small pieces of the of the apartment to himself. So this kind of we have. There might be something else, but I'm not really. I haven't really checked that into that one myself. So I probably need to do a little bit research to give a better answer. Is there a significant difference for a foreigner between... Ah, uh, this... Okay, I'll answer this one. Okay. Can I apply for my parents to get Finnish residence permit? Uh, I made a video about this topic. I'm not the immigration specialist, but if you have a residence permit, then I think you're... Uh, you can... Okay, you have to check if parents are eligible for residence permit based on family ties. I think they should be. But you can I've made a video about this topic so you can check it. What are some of the good places where I could learn about the IT and high tech sectors in the Helsinki area in terms of overview asking as a software developer. Maybe Joe can help about that. But Joe is a choice in all though but I mean maybe LinkedIn is a good place to start. Or the startup hubs. Startup hubs are, by the way, also very good way to get to make your way into Finland, especially in the IT sector. Uh, what is the best place in Finland for an immigrant people to find work and live? Okay, I think I've answered this question quite a few times. Uh, I would start with Helsinki, but it also depends on your field. But if you're an IT person, Helsinki is probably the best place to start. For foreigners, Helsinki is Finland easy mode. This is actually very well stated by Saika. So, uh, yeah, because <laughs> actually it's a very, very interesting statement because people usually speak good English here. Well, they do speak generally quite good English, but the environment is more more in, in, in international 
an international friendly. Many of the many people, more companies are actually hiring foreigners and this kind of stuff. Why you stopped pranking with Pi? Yeah, they were fun. Uh, well, it's because I stopped wanted to do more videos on this channel, and I can run everything on this channel by myself. And in the prank channel, the production was more. It took way more time, and because I want to grow this channel, and I can make it's much more to produce content and uh, control everything. The pranks were very fun. That's that's definitely true, but. What advantages do I have as a foreigner engaged to a Finn? I don't know. Do, does, is there any... I, the only advantage I can think of is the residence permit stuff. But nothing nothing else I, don't, I can't really think of. Do you know how comments to get a Pren up in Finland? What is Pren up? <laughs> Sorry, I, I haven't heard of Pren up before. Maybe if you can elaborate, I can answer that. I tried intermittent fasting once and dropped a couple kilos. Yeah, it, I've done it actually before. I did it like, was it last or two years ago and I dropped like eight kilos. I was also like, oh, I was like a 100 kilogram dude and then I dropped like 10 kilos. So <laughs> I had to do something. Print up avioehto. Ah, avioehto. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe Slindy or Saek knows about this. I haven't actually th thought about this <laughs> question because I'm not really into marriages, at least not yet. But I, I think some people do get print ups. Interesting question. And I, I learned something myself. I haven't actually heard of learned heard of this word before interesting stuff like Connor before yeah yeah, yeah 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 exactly yeah thanks for thanks to or finish fantastics I, I got about I understood what was the question about so what about racism I've made a separate video about racism in Finland you can go watch it on the channel there's more about that one I don't know how many people get prints. Yeah, well, I don't know, but I I think some do get. What are the best places in Finland to travel on budget? Uh, well, I would say Tampere, Turku, and actually nowadays you can get pretty cheaply around Finland thanks to Onnibus. Or Onnibus, which is like this cheap bus company. But Tampere, Turku, they are very cheap. I think it's like maybe even 5 euros at one way ticket if you book it early. Well, what was the question? What, what are the best places in Finland? Yeah. But if you want to go a little bit further, then there's Jyväskylä, Seinäjoki, Kokkola, Vaasa. They are a bit further away though, but if you have like one week or two week trip, then I think down Helsinki, Tampere, Turku, uh, what else? And then there's of course Lapland. <laughs> Rovaniemi and this kind of would be also good. Probably not many since divorces don't end up that badly in Finland. I don't know. Finns do get divorces though, but I don't know the stats. I don't think print-up is that common, but it's not unheard of and you don't get frowned upon if you want to get it. Yeah, I think so too. How's the weather? Weather is actually quite nice. It's probably, it was around 12 degrees Celsius, which is actually quite nice. What advances for material process technology engineering in Finland? How much to force? Uh, I don't know. What I... Because I'm not into the field myself, so I, I'm not really professional in that one. But I, there are a lot of international students in that field, at least. Uvascular or Oulu, which one would you choose? Maybe Uvascular because Oulu is too north. <laughs> and in Uvascular is in central Finland, so it's actually very easy to access to different places there. 
Bum, bum, bum. Uh, will I need to redo my vaccinations before immigrating because I'm not sure if the American strains are different? I don't know, it depends. I don't know about the vaccinations in, in the States. Hi, I'm from Russia and I will start studying at Lukio in August. Okay, interesting. I've heard that some Finns don't really like Russians. What should I do in order to not become Russia? Okay, this is actually a very interesting question. Okay, if if you ask me, I think Finns don't really hate Russians that much nowadays. But of course some do. There's always these kind of people, but at least just just like you would do by just using common sense by being nice and respectful to our culture and country and people uh maybe learning the language a little bit but at at least just don't be a douchebag like if, if you just just obey this very common rule that you would do anywhere don't be a douchebag i think that will get you far that's what i would say just behave yourself and you should be fine. Exactly. This is what I was trying to say. Just don't do anything dumb. I'm moving to studies, Phil, and I wear a headscarf. What Finns think of that? Uh, is it like this kind of black thing? If it's about this, that's fine. I mean, there are even people who are working who are wearing their headscarf and that's fine. So I think the attitudes are kind of becoming more open here. One of my Finnish fifth cousin is married to a Russian lady. Cool. Don't be a douchebag. Yeah, don't be a douchebag. Don't be a douchebag. Be a fantastic instead. Estonia is Mexico or Finland. <laughs> That's actually very fun. One, way, one fun way to put it. Speaking of the weather, do you have any plan to visit tropical countries? Kind of, kind of want to see you get sunburned. I get really easily sunburned, by the way, so... <laughs> and if you've been following my Instagram stories, I'm always saying, Ah, oh, it's 10 degrees Celsius and it's so hot and people are like sending me, me this direct. It's like, Alex, what are you talking about? It's like, it's like freezing here, but you know, it's, it's all like, it's relational. You know, like something that's cold for me... Or something that might be hot for me is like cold for you guys or you know this kind of thing but yeah if, if i went to country which has like 35 that's just too much for me because i i don't really like super hot with weathers and i think Finns don't like it because we are not really used to those kind of weathers don't be a douchebag yeah Voi vitsi, että ei ole totta, mä oon täällä lähellä St. Louis Amerikassa ja meidänkin lämpötila on 12 just nyt kauhean kylmä. <laughs> no niin, voi perhänä. Latvian TV guy, at first I thought you were Latvian the gay, lol. <laughs> yeah, well, this shit happens sometimes. Uh, do we have more questions? Can you also please make a video about the recent election in Finland? Is the racist party getting more popular and do you think the foreigners should be worried about the future? Well, that is a good question. The, yeah, the racist... Well, I'm not sure if, well, if we should call it a racist party, but the Finns party, the national Finns party, their chairman got the most votes in the whole election, in the whole country. And he, he has definitely very kind of racist kind of uh, goals. Uh, or at least a party does have. But we have to see how the how they're going to form the government. I think it will be more interesting to do a video after that. After, the, after they manage to form the government to see what kind of parliament and government we will be having. The problem is I'm not really much into politics myself. That's not really I actively follow. Well, of course I did vote and stuff, but I just need to probably research the topic about a little bit myself. Uh, okay, I need to scroll down a bit. 
Would you ever move to another country? Which one? Uh, sure. Why? Why not? Sometimes I even think about maybe like traveling around a little bit, like maybe staying one month in some country and then moving to another. But yeah. What? Well, I well I did live one year. In, I I did live a year in Japan, and it would be fun, kind of cool place to go back, but. But I should maybe also check out some other places, though. If I if I would have to pick one country, it might be like maybe Germany or because I can also speak German, so it would be kind kind of easier to get get in in there. Maybe Spain also would be cool. I don't know. Something like that, maybe. Uh, save the temperature shot up to twenty in Canada yesterday. I need to take a cold shower and have two fans, or I would die. Okay. Good stuff. So there are people who can understand this kind of weathers as well. <clears throat> oh, Yonis Korokakis joined the Fantastic Squad. Good stuff. Yeah, I do. We have this, this uh, notific alerts, alerts. That's the word. Uh, <clears throat> my chat is like going crazy. How many people we have? We have 38 people here. There's back, if you're wondering what's the num number in the right bottom right corner, it's the number of viewers on this live stream. Racist party question mark, but they got the second most. Oh, SDP were heard. Yes, that's true. Yeah. But when they just excluded from the government, yeah, I think they were, or they weren't cho chosen to the negotiations at least. Are Finns practically vampires who eat garlic? <laughs> okay, I think we do eat garlic. I at least I do. But why do why vampires? I don't know. Being half Finnish and I can speak <coughs> a bit of the language, but do you know what I could do to improve it? Because being an ugro Finnic language is difficult without anyone else to speak it besides my mom. Okay, I get this question all the time. Well, not all the time, let's just say often. And my first advice is to find an online speaking partner. Because that, if you really want to improve the language abroad, you need to be... You have to speak it. I mean, if you really want to be able to speak the language or learn it faster you need to find someone to speak with and there's few i think i'd have to make, make a separate video about the tools that you could use uh, for example there's italki uh, hello talk and tandem these three apps which are made for finding language exchange partners and on italki you can actually pay you can find very cheap one-on-one -on -one lessons for one hour, you can pay. You probably pay like fifteen dollars an hour to get one-on-one -on -one practice. Uh, you you get one-on-one -on -one lesson with the real Finnish person who helps you to speak Finnish, which is pretty pretty cheap. So that's what I would do. For example, when I was learning, I, I think I've told you this quite a few times. For example, when I, before I went to Japan, I found, I searched the Japanese exchange students in my university and I made friends with them and I told, okay, I'm going to Japan. Uh, would it be cool if we met like once a, once a week to practice Finnish or Japanese for, uh, for like 30 minutes a week? And they said it was okay and I got some really good confidence in my speaking skills right from the start and that's definitely what you should do as well i'm trying to learn to finish but the grammar is killing me i use anki for work up but how can i learn the grammar don't focus too much on the grammar uh because the grammar is quite complex uh instead of just uh, in the beginning it's very very important to focus on the practical stuff like for example useful phrases and structures which, for example, in my f spoken Finnish course, which is free, uh, I did some very simple, simple grammar, but yeah, at the same time, it's very useful. And actually, I'm creating a second course as we speak. I should start recording the lessons. 
Uh, but the point is, don't forget the grammar, especially at the beginning, because it, it can get very discouraging. Because the Finnish grammar is quite tough, unfortunately. Can I get admission in University of Turku? Well, if you apply and you pass, then you can get admission. How long do you go without visiting a sauna? Actually, well, at, at the moment I don't have access to regular sauna. So it can be even months, I guess. Zoom is okay at minus 40. <laughs> minus 40 is like where I have, I have never experienced minus 40. Have you ever been to all what it's like? I haven't been, I have been there once, but I was younger. Maybe if Joe is still on, online, you can, Joe can tell some experiences because He's living in the in Oulu. And by the way, if you want to join our fantastic Facebook group, uh, it's a free group where you can post questions and discuss about all these kind of things, what we are doing now. The link is in the description. There's like join the squad and then there's three links. Uh, one of them is the Facebook group. You should join there. And also follow me on Instagram if you have, haven't followed me on Instagram. Also the link in the description. All right. Wow, so many good questions. Thanks, guys, for the questions. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, Joe is giving some insights to Olu. It's quite nice, but I describe it as a city that feels like a town. Wow, that's actually very, very profound, profound stuff. What's the rave music? Techno. It's... You mean the background music? It's it's from the YouTube audio library. It's like this am ambient stuff. Hey, I just want to say I'm developing a Finnish vocabulary learning app and I'm going to soon work with the Finnish language services company. Just wanted the people to be aware that it's coming. Okay, cool. Maybe we can check it out later. Alex, have a question, please. I don't live in the EU. I just travel through visa. I want to marry my Finnish girlfriend in Finland. So do you have any idea... Where I can get about infos. Okay, I've made a video about this, these kind of residence permits and stuff. But if you need any info about this, just go to www.migri.fi. Like here you can find everything that you need to know about entering Finland. It's, all, it's in English and it's in many other languages. Alex himself, videos about Finland. You believe... Me or not Finnish sound familiar for me. I'm from Greece. I think we use the same way the consonants. That might be the truth. I, I haven't got into Greece or Greek. But it might be. I think I've heard before from someone that the Greek sounds a little bit like Finnish. It might be. Might be the case. So many questions. Wow. And again, guys, just a quick reminder. If you want to support the channel and you want to... Uh, get the flashy cool message on the screen you can send a super chat by hitting the dollar sign and you can choose the amount yourself that's something you can do if you want i should probably think of something something that you get in return besides the support stuff to make it more like appealing for you guys need to develop do do a little bit business development for that but yeah anyways uh Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Have you been in Hamelin? Not really. Just been passing through. Turku on paras kaupungin, mutta nyt mennä kiva live show. Kiitos, läksi ja hyvää päivät kaikille. Hei, kiitos päivät, tulet mukana. Ja hyvät päivät myös sinne päin. 30 plus is possible in Latvia. I think it's also possible in Finland, but quite rare. Hey, now we have a fun question. Hey, are Finnish guys just <laughs> are Finnish guys just as much as hard catch as Norwegians? It's freaking difficult. Maybe it's because I'm Dutch and too direct. But jeez. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know what kind of experiences you have with Norwegians, but I think the problem with Finnish guys usually is that Finnish guys are not really expressive and not. It's quite difficult to get make the connection and communicate. 
However, if you meet a guy like me, for example, who's more open-minded, then I would love these direct approaches. I rarely get approached by girls, actually. So I think you just need to keep doing what you do until you find a guy who fits for your taste. So if they run away, then just say like, okay, see you later, alligator, and move on to the next one. That's how what I would do. What are the days and nights like in July in terms of daylight? Basically, no, no, very f little dark hours. There's a lot of lots of uh, sunlight. Ilta Perkele, Joachim Anderson. So, guys, if you don't know Joachim, he also makes some awesome and cool stuff about Swedish stuff. So make sure to check out his channel also after this stream. Or you can just try it during the, during the stream also. That's either way, either however you like. All right, let's see. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. What's more the questions? Oh, we got a super chat. Ionis Kokorakis, Finnish people rocks hay from Buden. Oh, and there we have this one. Fin Finnish people rocks hay from Buden. All right, thank you for the. Femton Kroonor, Supetsa, Takso Mykke, Ionis Kokorakis. Va fint, vi fick en Supetsa from Sverige, va fint. Okay, there goes my Swedish skills. Much appreciated. You should put bloopers in your videos. I always cackle when you get tongue twisted. Actually, I thought that's something what I've been thinking about because I do get those like in every video, basically, which is which is kind of funny. Maybe okay, that's I, I'll I'll think about that because I should I can easily just put aside those fuck ups and then I can just make like a separate video. Hey Alex, which which there's many links in one's Facebook group for chatting. Uh, I didn't really understand what... Uh, sorry, I didn't understand the question. Nice one, Alexei. I approve, yes. Joachim Anderson approved. I forgot what's approved in, in Posvenska. Man, I should get back to Swedish. Like, Swedish is kind of... Swedish is very easy language. Much easier grammar-wise, but the pronunciations are much, much more complicated compared to Finnish. But, I mean, it's very learnable. I think I never had problems with the svenska uttal. Is it uttal in Swedish? Do you know where the cell phone throw for distance is held? Oh, yeah, there is a funny contest in Finland where you like throw the mobile phone as far as you can. I, actually, I don't actually know where it is. I would like to send my raha to you, but Latvia and YouTube doesn't have that. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. It's okay. I'd love to hear you speak Dutch. <laughs> that's probably really funny. What's the climate like in Finland in July? Oh, man, it's most likely it's great. Best, best, uh, best, easily the best season. Uh, the weather is, there's a lot of sunlight, people are outgoing, social, enjoying their lives. Uh, it's usually hot, but not too hot. Like what I really like about the Finnish summer, that it's hot, but it's not humid. It's not like sauna. Like for example, when I was living in Japan, the, it was really hot and very like, you know, humid, which, which made it really uncomfortable. But in Finland, we don't have that kind of humidity at all, which is pretty much perfect. Mm. Your pronounce is great, better than other things. Good job. Tuck tuck for the tuck for com. The problem with my Swedish is that I forgot my most of my vocabulary. The grammar is quite easy and stuff, but but that's the that's the problem. And the thing is that I usually I speak Finnish Swedish. Like pronunciation between Swedish Swedish and Finnish Swedish is a little bit different. You can definitely recognize. At least I can easily recognize Finnish, Swedish, and Swedish, Swedish. And I can too for half years. Perkele. <laughs> Janis Kokorax, are you a Greek that lives in Sweden? 
I am a Greek that lives in Sweden. Hey, hey, all right. Good, we are making some from uh, some more interactions. Oh, we got a new new super chat from Joakim Anderson. Some motivation for the for the Svenska. Tack so tack so much for the super chat then from from Sverige. This ska... Oh, there we go. Wait. Joakim Anderson donated five dollars. No, five euros. Tack så mycket Joakim för den super chat. För din super chat. Vad fint. Nu måste jag börja lära mig mer svenska. Eftersom jag fick 5 euro från Joakim. All right. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, can an international student choose a major in Finnish instead of English? Uh, I think the application process is different. Like if, if you want to apply for the English programs, it's different. The application stuff is different for fin uh, between Finnish and English programs, at least to my knowledge. Okay, I think this is Dutch. Say <laughs> the cut crap, the cruel and one the trap. <laughs> All right, good stuff. It's a multi-use word like perkele. Yeah, perkele is a very multi, very versatile, very versatile word. What's a hidden gem or must see for the first time in travels to Helsinki? Uh, I'm planning to make a video about this. I hope I can make it soon because I've been. This has been very requested, and there are some definitely good places that are free. And definitely worthwhile to see. So yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll try to make a video of this. Your Swedish is better than I thought. Actually, I'm impressed. Well, because in Finland we have to learn learn Swedish, and I was really good at Swedish at school. Jag var egentligen var jag jätte bra på svenska när jag var i gymnasiet, men nu för tiden är min svenska jätte dåligt. Eftersom det finns inga så många uh, möjligheter att prata svenska. Men ja, jag tänker att svenska är inte så... Uh, what was difficult, Karl? Hårt språket. <laughs> All right, that goes my Swedish. I use Perkele every day, that's what I do also. Man, so many awesome comments, like thank you, fantastic. Like this has been very... Very interesting uh, live stream, and I just realized we've been running this almost for an hour, which is great. I didn't even notice the time has been running so nicely, and we've had zero technical problems with the stream, at least in my end, which is pretty much kick-ass stuff. Good stuff. Is it true that most Finns have a summer cottage? That is true. Uh, it's definitely something part of the culture, part of the culture that we have this... Kesämökki kulttuuri or summer, summer cottage culture. We also have, my family also has our own summer cottage. And yeah, it's it's definitely part of the stuff. Suomenlinna, Suomenlinna is a good place, yeah. I have actually made one video in from Suomenlinna, but that was like a Pokemon Go related video. But it's definitely still some from Suomenlinna, so if you want to check that one out, you can see it. Uh, haha, that was almost perfect. That's supposed to be a long tongue twister. What the hell? I have spe secret language speaking abilities. Well, I've always loved languages. I, I should just do it more. I feel I'm kind of wasting my hidden talents because I'm not learning more languages, but yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I even said that, but anyways. Uh, so learning Swedish would help as well, other than just going with English and Finnish. Uh, well, I mean, there are definitely positions, like job-wise, who are, which are focused on Swedish speak, or they are looking for Swedish speakers. But I still would. I mean, it, it doesn't really feel. I don't feel it's much that much useful to learn Swedish instead of Finnish. But it's it's an interesting question. I I I don't know what's if what's the correct answer for that. But my advice would be going for Finnish, if you want to live in Finland. Uh, 
gezellig, gezellig. That sounds that's because that's Dutch is kind of like do, do, Deutsch. So nice humble brag. Like <laughs> yeah, oh, but yeah, oh yeah, I know that was a little bit too much. But I've always loved languages, and I've never had problem learning a new language. So for me, it's been I've always enjoyed, and I, I love grammar especially myself. But yeah. You know, Finns are not supposed to brag, but I kind of overdid it there. But yeah, I hope you don't hate me. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, now we are talking about Dutch here in the chat. Well, but that's okay. okay. I don't really limit. Oops, what did I do? Oh, I just put, put my stream or the chat box to full, full screen and it's like... I'm just chosen. Yeah, I know. But some, sometimes I, I think things maybe a little bit too personally or too seriously. But yeah, that's I'm, we're cool. We're cool. Alex and I are soulmates. No one loves grammar, but we do. Yeah, well, uh, well, I think most of the languages which I've learned never had really tough grammar. I mean, Swedish. Well, English is kind of tough. If, if you think about it, it's actually very complicated. The more you get into English, the more complicated it gets. But for example, Swedish, Ger German is also very straightforward because Swedish and German are very similar languages. So it kind of comes from there. When I learned the Japanese, the problem with Japanese was that the, lang the nat nature of the language was so different compared to the, what I've learned in Europe. But once I got in my head inside the language, things got like quite uh, more straightforward and Japanese grammar is actually quite simple much more simple than uh, Finnish for example I'm actually planning to do a video where I compare Japanese and Finnish because there's surprisingly a lot of commonalities between those languages I'm looking forward to do that video for you guys at some point seems to be a rare thing but I divorce some really choosy grammar <laughs> yeah that's nice Oh, Loredana donated five dollars. Let's continue this trend. Sound up, sunt untip frumos. Wow, thanks for the five euro super chat. It didn't appear. Oh, I didn't see it in the chat box though, but it popped up in the screen. But anyways, at least we saw it. And thanks, Loredana, for the five euro super chat. Really appreciate it. Oh, five euros. Okay, yeah. But you know, it's Sunday and it's all, all, already past nine here and, you know, it's been a long day for me, guys, you know. You just spoke your first words in Romanian. Well, I thought it was Romanian. But well, talking about Romanian, one of the cool songs is was the... Uh, what was the hit song? Dracostea din, babe, Dracostea din te by Ozone. Was, that was Romanian, right? I heard the, the band was original from Moldova, but I think the song is in uh, Romanian. Com correct me if I'm wrong, but... Don't say it! No! Okay, I think I met, just screwed my chances there. Do you know a few words in Italian? No, I, I know Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti is actually very funny because Tutti Frutti was, when I was a kid, there was this ice cream called Tutti Frutti. And it was kind of like this, mikä uh, house mehu jää, osaako suomalaiset jäästä täällä. This kind of like, a, uh, this kind of icy ice cream, you know. It's not like this typical, but yet, and it had like many flavors wrapped in like a spiral that was called Tutti Frutti. And I, when I was in Japan, there was this Italian girl as exchange student. She told me that tutti frutti means like all the flavors, which is kind of funny. Do you know any verse in Polish? Well, I was in Poland. I was in Krakow uh, two weeks ago. Well, I know Czech, Jesk, Jesk, like hello, Jesk. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Jesk. And of course, everyone, like the one that everyone knows, Kurva, but... I can, I'm not saying that I'm very proud of knowing that one, but... Dracos Theodin was famous. I love that song. Like, sometimes I will listen it, to it just randomly. Maya, Maya, oh. All right. But 
they speak Romanian and Russian in Moldova. Okay. Cool. But hey, you can learn that sentence and approach chicks with. Oh, I should have written because it. Uh, the super chat didn't appear on my. In the feed, for some reason, so I couldn't. But it appeared in the screen at least, so I don't know what happened there. I have Joachim's message, and Ionis Kokorakis's message also here. Maybe it's just kind of bug. That's kind of weird. A popsicle, a popsicle, yeah. Okay, I'm learning so much new words in English in this live stream. That's great. Jesk. That's very similar to Polish. In Polish, it's Jesk. Jesk is my pronunciation. Jesk. Wasn't it the Streamlab donation? I don't know. Was it a donation, by the way? Oh, that might be actually the case. So it wasn't a super chat. Okay, you guys noticed it. Ah, okay, okay. So you probably used the link in the description. Yeah, because there is this... Uh, yeah, you can... If you hit the link, you get to this another page where you can donate. But you can also use the super chat. Yeah, okay. That, that's great, guys. Uh, you, you are paying more attention than I am. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, because it didn't appear in the super chat box. That's right. Cool. Okay. I just don't it because apparently super chats aren't available. Okay. Okay. That's great. But thanks for the don donation anyways. And actually, well, if we think about it, if you, if you send a donation, uh, I get to keep more of the money because if you send a super chat, YouTube takes like a cut. <laughs> but anyways... I mean, anything that you send, I'm very appreciated. I'm really happy for those, so that's cool. I suggest that you make the Finnish and Japanese comparison with during this month since the 100th anniversary of Finland and Japan's diplomatic relationship. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Maybe we can get that to the send, get that to the media somehow, and you know. <laughs> Then I'm glad I donated and that you heard some speak some Romanian. Okay, I, I wish I, I should have picked up the words, but I think I can check the donations also later on. So maybe I'll, I'll check later what that means. Holy crap. It's it's how how long have we been doing this? Because sometimes when I start the stream, it kind of shows the timers and everything in the corner, but I think we've been doing more than one hour already. That's pretty good. Sunt un tip frumos. Sunt un tip frumos. All right. Maybe if I say it with a sexy voice, it's kind of, mm, you know, it's like a pa the panty dropper. <laughs> okay. All right. By the way, sometimes I, one, one funny idea I had one day, uh, I thought about doing this kind of, uh, not a, uh, a S R A R S M R A S A S M R video, but it's kind of like a where I would just put my mouth like very close to the microphone and kind of re read like a bedtime story in Finnish, you know, and just to make it kind of a little bit different video experience for you guys. I don't know if you've been to, up to that kind of stuff, but yeah, what, what do you guys think? And I could put like the subtitles and everything there. <laughs> What do you think? Should I do that? It was kind of fun to try different content, you know. Can you try to speak Greek? Say, Ifilandia gamai. It means Finland fuck. <laughs> Finland fuck. But in Greek, it means Finland is awesome. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Good, you donated. Have you been to Canada? I haven't never been to Canada. I would love to see it. 72 minutes so far. Okay, thanks, Joe, for the heads up. Good stuff. Any knitting conventions out there? Maybe I'm not really much into knitting myself, so I don't really know the scene, but I would definitely think there's people who are. 
Ooh, a bedtime story finish and with the flirty freaky flirty face. O okay, I let's let's kick it up a notch. Bedtime story finish with the sexy voice and no clothes on. <laughs> well, what would the, what would you guys think about that? Well, I think the male audience doesn't really give a give a shit, but I think or fantastic female audience would really appreciate it. <laughs> Well, I've only done two videos where I'm naked on YouTube, so I guess it's not really nothing new for you guys. I demand more story time. Story time. I think there was one. Maybe you put that also on the on the. Uh... Oh yeah, I got when I checked my phone. I got a notification from PayPal. You received five euros from Lore Loredana Borsia. That's great. Uh, yeah, about I I thought about making some story time videos, but that that's more like a personal content. It's not really necessarily related to Finland. Well, we could also reflect in kind of like Finnish culture wise, but um, well, I'm I'm 28 years old. I have accumulated a little bit of life experience, some funny stories also from my life. So if you're into those kind of things. You can let me know in the comments if you want to see more of those. Alex, I need to sleep tonight. It's work tomorrow. Stop it. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I guess I should be happy that girls around the world are thinking about me when they're going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so creepy, but... So that's completely fine. All right. Are you open to the idea of social experiments? I've done social experiments in my in my prank channel before, so why not? What advice could you give someone considered to moving to Finland? Okay, I made two videos. One video is about reasons why you should move to Finland, and the other one is reasons why you shouldn't move to Finland. What's those? And what's actually very interesting thing about the. Um, the video, the video about not to move to Finland, it actually broke 50k views, like last week, and it's, I think it's only like three months old. It has got like crazy amount of views, but always these negative vid topics get like more videos or more more views, which is kind of crazy. So I guess you'd get demonetized. Who cares? The, my actually the uh, the previous video where I'm completely naked was actually demonetized but then i put it to the appeal process and it was uh, after the appealing it was approved for monetization so that video is making me money and i'm just talking about nudity in finland when i'm completely naked there so <laughs> make an ASMR, asmr of steam which comes from the hot stones in the sun oh that's actually interesting All right. Oh ho. York say Joachim says oh ho. All right. Would you say that it's generally hard takes long time to save money for a small family house in the outskirts of cities in Finland with average Finnish salary? Okay, actually no interesting that you brought up this topic because at the moment I'm getting into apartment investing or real estate investing. And uh, what people usually do, it's it's actually very common for people to buy their own apartment. I mean, we are not talking about, well, some people buy also houses, but if you want to get your own flat, for example, now I'm living here in Kallio and I'm, I'm living, I'm renting this place. But it's very common for people to buy an apartment from themselves. And I've, I'm just reading a book about this, uh, investing apartment investing business and the banks give quite easily loans for this kind of things usually you just need around uh, 20 to 30 percent money of the of the price of the apartment and usually the bank gives you the loan for the rest for so around 70 80 percent so it's not actually not that difficult because um the apartment itself were acts as a guarantee so if you cannot pay your back you, if you cannot pay back the rent uh, the, uh, the loan the bank can still get their money back because they they can put the apartment itself as a as a as the guarantee so it's actually not that difficult 
to get get uh, enough money. But if you, we are talking about a real house and a real property, that's gonna of course cost a little bit more money. But I think the same rules apply there because the house itself can act as the guarantee for the loan. I buy my first house in Boden one week ago. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, let's count how many people from different countries watching you know. I wish how how can how how can we do that actually? We should need to just let people as people uh, make people comment their country there i guess that would be how many people we have 38 people at, at least according to the counter okay guys maybe we should finish up this live stream but it's been a lot of fun actually on this one okay let's okay now people are actually they are putting the country so Write in the comments below, or in the chat below, now which in which country you're watching this. So we have USA, Suomi, Netherlands. I'll, I'll keep the count. Different countries of so Netherlands, USA, US, USA was mentioned already. Now we have three different countries: Germany, Deutschland is four, Israel five, Rig Latvia six, UK seven, Russia eight. Florida is Romania 9, Slovakia 10, Morocco 11, Bangladesh 12, Indonesia 13, Northern Mexico 14, Egypt 15, Czech 16, France 17, Canada 18, Turku was already mentioned. I think 18 so far if I didn't mess up in my country. Counts. Countings. Greece 19. Oh, do we get to 20? Wow, it's actually quite many. Cool. I think I said Greece 19. So we... I think we are... Hungary 20. Okay. 20 different countries. That's cool. At least 20. How do you pronounce... 2080-luvulla? 2080-luvulla. Can't you get this data from YouTube? Uh, uh, I can, but it's... Uh, but yeah, I, I can get... I mean, I can get the data like in which countries do I get, but it's just basically like a list. And there's like some really small numbers in something. So I don't really get easily like, okay, how many... From how many different countries this video was watched. That, that kind of data I can directly get. Okay, um, I think this was very interesting stream. The sun is also setting here in Finland, which I think is a good sign that maybe we should wrap up this uh, live stream. Thank you so much for all the super chatters. So let's give it, let's, I can, think we can still get the shout, shout outs. So we got uh, donation from Lorena from Romania and then we got super chat from Joachim from Svens Sverige Takskaruha and also another or no actually Joachim was in you were in Germany so vielen uh, Dank für den super chat sehr gut gute Scheiße should we say here and also Janis Kokorakis 50, 15 kroner from Sverige. So, thanks, Kaduha. So, th thanks all the super chatters. And uh, thanks for everyone who joined this stream. And uh, if, like I said, if you haven't joined our face fantastic face Facebook group, the link is in the description. You can join for free. And also, make sure to follow me on Instagram because on Instagram, I share like these stories from my everyday life and some other cool, fantastic stuff. So, make sure to do those. And uh, I'll see you probably Wednesday. I'm actually just wrapping up my new video uh, for Wednesday. And also special thanks to Psych, our moderator, to, to keep things in, on, on, in control here. And that's also good stuff. So yeah, th thanks. Kiitos kaikille. Thanks kaduha. Vielen dank für allen. And uh, we'll see you in the next video on Wednesday. Hyvää yötä. Sommaraa.